Hi guys, it's Samantha from By Samantha. I'm going to show you a quick way that you can turn your illustrated hand lettering into a vector that you can use to make nice art prints or other designs. So this is the finished product that we're going to end up with. So I've got this photograph of just a little doodle from my sketchbook. Um, so I'm going to open it in Illustrator and we want to make this into um, paths that we can adjust and clean up some of these lines because if you look some of these are a little bit wobbly. So I'm going to click the object and go up here to image trace. This is our saving grace when we're digitizing our lettering. So click this little uh, menu and you want to come down to sketched art. So click sketched art. Okay, so it's still got a lot of wobbly parts. We want to clean this up a little bit. So if you come over here, you can open up more options to change the way it's tracing your image into path. So click to open the advanced window. When I'm doing this, what I like to do is lower the number of paths all the way because I want all my strokes to be really simple without a lot of messiness. Um, I generally will add more corners because in these spots where the lines match up, I want there to be a sharp corner and not this rounded. And then noise. I, to be honest, don't really pay much attention to this one. I'm just going to leave it where it is. So now that we've brought down our paths and uh, increased the amount of corners, I'm going to close out of the image trace window and click expand. So this is going to turn the traced object into all these little anchor points and paths. Uh, we got a little straggler down here, so I'm going to delete him. This is going to be all grouped, all these paths. If I try to click one, it'll select the whole thing. So you need to right click and hit ungroup. And then we can use the select tool to delete these extra pixels. So I usually will go and zoom in pretty close and adjust each letter one at a time. You don't have to do this. A lot of people don't. You can just be really precise with your original sketch and it'll come out a lot nicer, especially if you use a nice big photograph and very black uh, pigmented inks. But I'm going to go in here and show you how to edit if you want to clean some of this up. So like I said, we want to turn these rounded parts into corners because this is really an intersection between paths. So I'm going to tap on the path with the direct select tool. Um, we've got two anchor points here. I'm going to take one of them and convert it into a corner and place it right here. Um, so for some reason when I'm doing this, if I just click the corner button, it doesn't immediately turn into a corner. So I usually will click the smooth button and then the corner button. And as you can see, now the handles are gone, which are what you will be using to adjust your lines. So I'm going to just drag this little corner to where I think it should go, about right here. And uh, if any of these pads are in the way, I'll just move them, adjust them. A lot of them, you'll notice, will come out as corners because we turned that number up. So you can just change those into curved pads pretty easily. So I also use my arrow keys a lot for little tiny movements on the, all these anchor points. Um, I'll go through and pull some strokes out to thicken up the, the overall line or, you know, tweak the anchor points to get rid of some weird squiggles. I try to keep the line thicknesses really consistent throughout the word. So I get kind of picky with this. You really don't have to. I mean, you could trace it and, and use it as it is. Most people like the kind of imperfect hand lettered look, you know, of calligraphy. I think I spent when I originally did this about an hour really cleanly tidying up every path, getting really picky with the corners, trying to match everything up as best I could. So I'm going to show you the final product again. So I smoothed out uh, the pads as best I could and you know as you can see these are all corners here but once you've got this image you just go to safer web 
and I usually just save it as a large PNG. I try to keep it at least 3,000 pixels. Uh, and you can just save that to your desktop or, you know, wherever. And uh, you can use it in your design. So I created a phone case, a print, uh, all kinds of fun stuff with this one. So I hope that helps when you're digitizing your hand lettering. Uh, I do this a lot. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. You can comment below or you can contact me through the By Samantha Instagram where I love talking to people about this. So thanks for watching.